Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel. That is Achi YAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services, and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affairs series in which what we do we daily discuss MCQs from your current affairs perspective. So today is 9 October. So let's see what are the uh, questions for today, MCQs for today based upon the current affairs. So the first question is consider the following statements related to automatic exchange of information. First, it is an agreement that provides for an exchange of non-resident financial account information with tax authorities in the accounts holder, account holder's country of residence. Second, India has signed the agreement with all the member countries of UN General Assembly. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct. Uh, let me tell you friends uh, that only one statement is correct that is first uh, so it is an agreement that promotes uh, this uh, uh, mutual exchange of information uh, uh, between uh, the uh, different countries uh, about the financial account information of uh, known residents uh, and this uh, enables in uh, tackling tax avoidance and tax evasion. So only one statement is correct and that is A, uh, one that is first only so answer would be A. So more explanation is this uh, that it, it aims to reduce global tax evasion and it is carried out under common reporting standard uh, of, of organization of economic cooperation and development uh, uh, and then uh, there is uh, uh, this it promotes a basically exchange of information between countries without having to request it. So today in today's world when uh, there is a much integration uh, about uh, uh, various uh, uh, we can say payment gateways and also uh, international transactions happening within minutes so tax evasion to or to, permit, to, to prevent tax evasion and avoidance uh, such type of agreements is necessary so this is about your first question and let's move on to the second question uh, second question is in which of the following ways plastic wastes can be handled uh, first landfilling second recycling third bio remedi remediation fourth incineration so we have to choose that which of the uh, uh, these statements is correct let me tell you friends that all these are the methods uh, through which plastic waste is uh, currently handled so your answer will, will be d that is one two three and four solution is d uh, now let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements related to corporate social responsibility First, it was enacted under the Finance Act 2013. Second, it, uh, the eligible companies have to spend at least 2% of their average net profits made during the three immediately preceding financial year uh, for social welfare. So, which of the above statements is correct? So, we have to choose the correct statement. Let me tell you, friends, that only one statement is correct, and that is second. First statement is not correct because it is enacted under Companies Act 2013 and not under this uh, Finance Act 2013. So the answer would be uh, B, uh, that is second only. So corporate social responsibility is uh, kind of, a, we can say, promoting uh, social welfare through corporates uh, that on uh, uh, that have, uh, we can say, annual turnover of 1000 crore or having net worth of rupees 500 crore or having annual profit more than rupees 5 crore. So basically it is this corporate social responsibility is governed in India by clause 135 of the companies that 2013. So it is the first country, India is the first country to uh, to have mandated this CSR spending. So it is applicable to companies with an annual turnover of rupees 1000 crore or a net worth of rupees 500 crore or more or a net profit of rupees 500 crore or more. And uh, this is basically companies uh, have to spend 2% of their average net profit in the previous three years on CSR activities. So CR act, uh, CSR activities are given here. So they are mentioned in the Schedule 7 of the Act, uh, like uh, eradicating extreme poverty uh, and hunger, promotion of education, gender equality, empowering women, and then uh, combating HIV and uh, AIDS, and uh, then environmental sustainability, and then contribution to Prime Minister's uh, National Relief Fund or any other funds set up by the central government for promoting socio-economic development uh, for any section of the society. Now let's move on to the next question. Next is uh, which of the uh, following is, is are not the uses of the fly gash? So please note the word not. Uh, so first making bricks, second manufacturing of tiles, third construction of road embankments, fourth soil conditioner. So we have to choose the correct answer. Let me tell you friends that uh, fly ash is used in all of these uh, we can say activities. So basically here we have been asked that which of the following is not the uses. So none of the above would be the answer. So all are the uses. 
so more uh, detail you can pause the video so there are different uses of this fly yes so, so fly yes is basically a product uh, after washing of the coal um, and uh, this uh, this is generated in basically thermal power plants uh, so now let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements related to group of monuments in mamallapuram first it is in state of andhra pradesh second it is one among the important world heritage sites present in india so we have to choose which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that first statement is clearly wrong because this mamallapuram uh, group of monuments is in uh, is in your tamil nadu not in andhra pradesh so yes it is a world heritage site uh, and it was designated so in 1984 so mamallapuram has basically it is also known as uh, uh, seven pagodas or mahabalipuram so it is uh, lies along the coromandel coast of the bay of bengal 60 km south of the chennai so group of monuments here have been built by palva uh, king in 7th century that is uh, your uh, uh, this uh, narsimha varman so he was also known as mamalla so that's why the town town has been named mamallapuram or mahabalipuram so basically different uh, uh types of monuments are there then uh, there are seven temples uh, uh, five, uh, in the form of uh, raths so there are five raths or monolithic temples and they are re they are remnants of basically seven temples and then there are sculptured rock relief popularly known as arjuna's pinas or descent of ganges so uh, shiva temple is also there and then sculptured cave temples are also there so uh, so town is also known as seven pagoda so the entire assemblage assemblage collectively uh is uh, designated as the unesco world heritage site in 1984 so now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements uh first the who framework convention on tobacco control is the first international public health treaty negotiated under the auspices of the who second india is not a party to who framework convention on tobacco control so we have to choose the which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first uh, yes uh, it is uh, this uh, this is the first uh, uh, public health treaty that was that is negotiated by who and uh, then yes india is a, a member to it is a party to it so answer would be a that is one only so basically it aims to uh, prevent the uh, supply and demand reduction measures for to to, uh, so to take uh, supply and demand reduction measures for tobacco control at national regional and global levels now let's move let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements related to nobel prize so first statement is quite lengthy please read it uh, i think i'm i'm little bit uh, we can say lazy um, you, you people can call it uh, so because uh, it takes a lot of time to uh, kind of we can say narrate entire line so you can pause the video and can check the line obviously such a long line if there is then obviously there it is it is it, it is most probable 60 to 70 probable that uh, that statement would certainly be correct so first statement is surely correct let me tell you and second uh, individual can nominate themselves for the nobel prize third is no indian woman has begged nobel prize so far so we have to choose the which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends only one statement is correct and that is uh, first so obviously it is quite lengthy <laughs> so obviously it would be uh, we can say correct so but it is not the case always so don't go on my words but uh, apply your mind before attempting any question So, 2000 Nobel Prize in Medicine has been awarded jointly to William G. Kellen uh, Jr. and then Sir uh, Sir Peter uh, J. Radcliffe and then Greg L. Semenza for their discoveries of uh, how cell science and adapt to oxygen availability. So, basically, uh, oxygen sensing ability of the body has a role in the immune system and early stages of development inside the womb. So, if oxygen are uh, if oxygen levels are low, it can trigger the production of red blood cells with the construction of blood vessels to remedy this. so more red blood cells will uh, ensure that uh, body is able to carry more oxygen and that is why athletes train at altitude so drugs that uh, mimic it may be an effective treatment for anemia so tumors uh, meanwhile can hijack this process to selfishly create new blood vessels and grow and so drugs that reverse it may uh, help heart cancer so nobel prize overview uh, then there is this uh, nobel prize you can read about it Uh, so how candidates are nominated the details are mentioned you can pause the video and can read about it so now let's move on to the next question next is e dant seva seen in news is related to a digital platform for rural health b medical education c network of government hospitals d none of the above so obviously as is clear from its name this is basically a digital platform for rural health set up by ministry of uh, uh, your uh, uh, i think uh, health and family welfare 
uh, yeah so it is ministry of family health and family welfare that has launched this uh, portal in collaboration with aims and uh, other stakeholders so it aims to sensitize public about the significance of maintaining this optimum oral health and equips them with the tools and knowledge to do so including awareness on the nearest oral health uh, service facility so there are various components so you can check it now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements related to arctic council first it is an intergovernmental organization formed by the uh, ottawa declaration second india is the is member to this council so we have to choose that which of the statements is correct let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first because that is international it is an international government organization formed at uh, by the ottawa declaration so uh, only uh, one is correct so the answer is uh, uh, a so india is not member to it it basically aims to uh, uh it it basically aims to ensure that uh, uh the arctic cons uh, council uh, development takes place in a, in a uh, sorry the arctic uh, uh, region it basically it is an intergovernmental organization of arctic uh, countries to ensure that uh, this uh, 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 sustainable development takes place in arctic region so solution is a so one only so it is a high uh, high level intergovernmental body set up in 1996 by ottawa declaration to promote cooperation coordination and interaction among the arctic states together with the indigenous communities and the arctic inhabitants so its secretariat is based is in tromsø uh, tromsø norway and then uh, it has also uh, permanent members as well as ad hoc observer countries and other members as well and then uh, uh, this uh, more uh, details are here you can check it so observers have no voting rights so basically 13 non arctic states have observer status so these are the following india is also the observer status and is also one among the observer states and then let's move on to the last question of the day last question of the day is consider the following pairs min min the noa min the noa uh, malaysia second baluchistan pakistan uh, third uh, sumatra indonesia so we have to choose that which of the above pair is are correct so these are the basically places and the respective countries in which they are found so we have to choose, choose that which of these statements is correctly which of the above pair is correct let me tell you friends second and third are correct sumatra is in indonesia and baluchistan is in pakistan but this mindanao is is not in malaysia but it is in philippines so you can check here so this is uh, your mindanao uh, mindanao uh, and then uh, your this uh, uh, this is your sumatra in indonesia so then uh, this is your uh, baluchistan in the re in, in the pakistan region so this is the baluchistan part so this is about your friends today's discussion about uh, daily mcqs daily current affairs mcqs so if you like this discussion if you like the video then do ensure that you check uh, do ensure that you like it and uh, also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and lastly friends uh, if you have any queries doubts you can uh, mail us at achieveis21 at the gmail.com you can also contact us at 8968920720 lastly friends we also have a telegram channel public telegram channel where we have more than 13000 subscribers so you are more than uh, welcome to join this telegram channel if you want to remain in touch with the various updates that we do on our channel and for various updates uh, and initiatives that we have for the purpose of csc preparation so lastly friends uh, if you want to subscribe to the pdfs of these mcqs then do ensure that you check the description box subscription link is, is given there so uh, there is a minimum fee that has been kept for this purpose for daily current affair mcq pdfs so uh, and that has been kept as minimum as possible and it is just rupees 99 per month and that has been kept for the purpose of our motivation so that we people can remain motivated to help you people so in case you are interested to join to the pdf then do ensure that uh, you check the description box uh, and check the subscription link there so this is all about friends today's discussion do ensure that you subscribe to our channel thank you have a very nice day ahead